Hi everybody, it's Ashley with Empowerment Nursing and we're gonna go over one of this week's test questions. Um, this week's test question you can read above and we're gonna go through the answers together and come to the correct um, answer. So this week's question is, when the nurse is infusing 0.9% sodium chloride, also known as normal saline, which action is the priority in evaluating for an adverse reaction to a bolus infusion? So before we even move on, we want to identify some of the key words in, that, in, the, in the stem of that question. One of those is priority. What priority means is, yes, there's likely more than one correct answer, but one answer is more important than the other. We love nursing questions for that reason. Another um, key word in the stem of that question is bolus infusion. So before you even read the possible answers to the question, you need to ask yourself, what would be the safety behind a bolus infusion? So what do you already know about a bolus infusion? You already know that a bolus infusion means we're putting IV fluids wide open into a patient's artery, vein, vascular space, whatever you want to call it, as quickly as possible. So we are running fluids into their body as fast as we possibly can. Okay, so what is the safety behind that? And you might realize you already kind of have an idea of what the right answer is without even reading the possible um, answers. So now we'll go into the answers having identified the key words in the stem of the question. A. Palpate for peripheral edema. B. Assess for jugular venous distension. C. Auscultate lung sounds. And D. Measure urinary output. So the correct answer as to which priority action we would take or which priority adverse reaction is C. To auscultate for lung sounds. Now, some of you might be thinking, C is the right answer because it involves the airway, and you're going back to the ABCs of prioritization, airway, breathing, circulation. In this situation, you happen to be correct, but I caution you in using the ABC rule because sometimes the question has nothing to do with A, B, or C. So you really have to pause and ask yourself, does this question um, warrant the implementation of that rule. In this situation, it does, and here's why. This is why auscultating lung sounds is our correct answer. I'm going to draw you a little picture here. So we're not going to get complicated in terms of the circulation through the heart. I'm going to draw something super simple. This is how I always divide up the heart. We have the right atrium, the right ventricle, the left atrium, and the left ventricle. And I'm just going to draw a little bit of the blood flow. So we get deoxygenated blood back from the rest of the body. It goes from the right atrium to the right ventricle, here through the pulmonary arteries, to the lungs where we get oxygen. From there, we come back into the left atrium, into the left ventricle, and out the aorta to the rest of the body. The reason why auscultating lung sounds, or C, is our number one priority to assess for an adverse reaction to infusing a bolus of normal saline is because if we're putting so much volume into this heart, way too much volume, we're increasing the volume, okay? The whole point of the heart is to pump volume forward in one direction only. If there's too much volume to pump forward, guess what happens? It comes back to where it came from. So if the heart cannot pump this volume going forward, it's going to go backwards and it's going to go where? into the lungs and fill those lungs up with fluid, okay? So it's always going to return back to where it came from. And this is why we are going to auscultate lung sounds. Let me just address the other options. A, palpate for peripheral edema. That would be an indication of right-sided heart failure. You might do that. It would be more of a late sign of a rapid infusion of a bolus. Assessing for jugular venous distension is also an indication of right-sided heart failure. That would also um, not be as much of a priority as auscultating lung sounds would be. And measuring urinary output, we always do that when we're, in, when we're infusing rapid amounts of fluids, um, but it wouldn't be as much of a priority, uh, a prioritized action, of course, because if your lungs are filling up with fluid, the oxygen exchange cannot take place between the bases of the lungs and your alveoli and um, your circulatory system. So that is this week's test question. Um, if you'd like to know more about our program, just leave a comment below. And for the answer to this question and more, you can check out our complete study package. Bye for now.